Thousands of jobs depend on Plymouth's defence industries and armed forces. Today, David Cameron brought a message of assurance to the city as he faced questions from an invited audience at Devonport Dockyard. The Prime Minister had started his visit with the Royal Marines at Stonehouse Barracks, and it was their status within the Royal Navy which provided the focus for his first question. Should the Royal Marines remain as they are, part of the Royal Navy, with that long tradition and history? Yes, they should. I don't believe they should be subsumed into the army. The Prime Minister pledged his support to maintaining the amphibious fleet, but in an audience dominated by defence workers, must have been expecting defence spending questions. This man wanted to know if more defence contracts would go to British companies. I don't believe you have a successful industry by locking out all foreign competition and uh, not having a competitive market. I think it's, it's very important that we recognise that obviously the, the, the really big and sensitive things must always be made here in Britain, but you do want to have an open, competitive market uh, because competition actually improves quality. Not an argument all were convinced by. What's stopping young workers like myself considering moving up, uh, up in sticks and disappearing to another country where we'll probably have a better standard of life? I don't want that to happen. I, I want this to be a good country in which you can get a good job with lots of good apprenticeships. But it was the very future of the dockyard which had perhaps the biggest shared interest. And if not, what message can, can you give to the stakeholders of Plymouth that it won't be done before that closes? Well, what, what I can say is there's a very strong programme of work here at Plymouth. If you look you know, particularly at what I've just been seeing on, on, on HMS Vigilant. So warm applause and some reassurance, but David Cameron also made clear 2012 would still be tough.